red blood cells today in this series of red blood cells we will discuss details concerned with the rbcs that means red blood cells when you see this red blood cells the learning objectives are we should know morphology normal count methods variations pcv and blood indices that means mcv mch mchc and etc ecr metabolism and erythropoiesis these are the major objectives that cover under red blood cells when we see this red blood cells these are the most abundant cells in blood the main functions of the rbcs are the transport of hemoglobin and presence of ca and thereafter main functions are o2 and co2 that means oxygen and carbon dioxide transport buffer action and responsible for the viscosity of the blood these are the major three underlying functions of red blood cells oxygen and carbon dioxide transport second this acts as buffer action and third responsible for viscosity of blood now what are the advantages of the hemoglobin in rbcs because rbc contains hemoglobin when we see the what are the advantages of the hemoglobin in rbcs it prevents rapid destruction and eliminations prevents increase in viscosity and prevents increase colloid osmotic pressure these are the basic three advantages of hemoglobin in rbc when we see the size and shape of rbcs these are circular disc shape biconcave without nucleus mitochondria and ribosomes these are the basic features of red blood cells be underlined in your mind what are the basic features of red blood cells these are circular disc biconcave without nucleus mitochondria and ribosomes biconcave gives him advantages increase surface area for the volume with stand hypotonic environment is for squeezing through capillaries without rupture that means when they passes through the capillaries they are very easy for squeezing that is the basic advantage of this biconcave shape shape of rbcs when is the surface area it is about 120 140 micro per when is this volume it about 90 to 95 micro cubic micro when is the variations in the size that means these are known as micro or macro variation in their shape these are spherocytosis or sickle shells intensity in the color either these are hypochromic or normochromic these are the basic variations that observe here with when you see this is the price jones curve according to this curve the diameters of rbc are plotted against percentage of red cells these are the microcytes normocytes and macrocytes these are shown in this graphical presentation which is known as price jones curve when is the next concept that is rolex formation when blood with anticoagulant is allowed to stand in a tube or when blood flow is reduced rbcs form form stacks this is reversible this stack formation is reversible and this process is known as rolex formation the large proteins not having spherical shape in induce rolex that is fibrinogen when is the normal values of the rbcs that is rbc count at birth it is about 6 to 7 millions per cubic millimeter in adult male it is normal range is about 5 to 6 millions per cubic millimeter while in woman normal range is 4.5 to 5 5.5 millions per cubic millimeter when you got higher altitude it increases that means rbc count increases hematocrit normal range is 40 to 45% hemoglobin of the blood it is about 14.5 to 15.5 gram percent in male while 13.5 to 15 gram percent in woman oxygen carrying capacity is very easy to calculate the formula is hemoglobin percent multiplied by 1.34 
by this calculation or by this formula we can count easily oxygen carrying capacity when is the physiological variations of rbc count in number of condition rbc count increases the age factor in male then at high altitude exercise anxiety atmospheric temperature and our meals these are the factor which causes increment in rbc count what are the number of factor that decreases rbc count like high barometric pressure after sleep and pregnancy these are easier factor by in which there is decrease rbc count when is the next step that is pcv or hematocrit measurements this is more concerned with the practical point of view this slide will helpful and that will discuss in our practical session next concept we should know that is red cell fragility it is mechanical and osmotic that means increase vulnerability due to deforming stress rigidity of the membrane which is tested by osmotic fragility normal hemolysis starts with 0.5% saline and is complete in 35% saline increased fragility in hereditary spherocytosis that is red cell fragility next concept concerned with the erythrocyte sedimentation rate which is measured by height of the column of clear plasma it depends upon the size and shape of the rbcs and size of prolix formation the plasma proteins that mainly responsible is fibrinogen and other factors like temperature and viscosity also affects erythrocyte sedimentation rate now the erythrocyte sedimentation rate it has number of variations that means it increases in condition like pregnancy menstruation gender wise and in age while it decreases in polycythemia sickle cell anemia spirocytosis with the pathological condition like tuberculosis arthritis and malignancy these are the number of variations where ec esr that means erythrocyte sedimentation rate